forgot about Blogtober. This is more my speed, the pumpkins. I don't even mind the candy corns, but this, the spooks, you know, I don't do the spooks. October is right around the corner. Hey you guys. So today's Tuesday. Look at me with the fro out. And I'm proud of myself. I ain't been in a grocery store in like forever. Probably no, I take that back. Um, well, being in the grocery store after work for that matter. Um, I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. But I'm tired of eating out. Um, and so I had a taste for some pork chops, um, but I want them things in gravy and seasoned beautifully. And I haven't cooked in forever, so I know my husband is definitely excited <laughs> that he doesn't have to cook this evening. Um, I have not cooked much since being pregnant. Um, kind of miss it. When I was in the grocery store picking up things, I was like, I kind of feel like normal again. Um yeah uh what i wanted to say while i wanted to come on here while dry well i mean is that um i feel like in the last 48 hours because they have been at go to corral too Are you, i'm assuming you going because you about halfway out here go ahead at this point um I'm sure that's not the way it was supposed to go but anyways um oh am i gonna go get this oil this hair oil, that's the whole purpose of me going to this food line, is to get the hair oil. So now I gotta go. <sighs> Dang it. Anyways, um, because I told y'all my scalp was act, maybe I didn't. My scalp has been acting up, so I have to go back to the oils um, and get the things for itchy scalp and things. But um, what is up with cashiers being mute? Now, I'm not talking junk. Like, I ain't been no cashier let's be clear okay let's be real clear um i have done my due diligence as a cashier um in food and in clothing okay i worked at jc penny which i like that i shouldn't have left to go to food line but it is what it is um i wouldn't have met my husband um because we met at food line or would i i don't know the jury's still out um but i worked at jc penny and i don't miss folding clothes and things of the sort what i used to love what i did like about being a cashier at food line is that at least um until i became like an office assistant and stuff like that that when when my shift was over deuces um but i made more money at jc penny when you're like dumb things you didn't realize um because it was one time i just felt like i think i didn't get that many hours and i was like freaking out one time and so I quit to go to Food Line, silly me, when I didn't realize that I made more money with less days when I worked at JCPenney. Um, yeah. Anyway, I hate that for me back then. Oh, I know you like pissed. Like, sis, what you doing? Don't be in my back seat now. Um, because you were on my butt and I gotta park here now, ugly. Um, but yeah. So I've done cashiering and all that jazz. So I know that you, at, at the very most, you should say hello, okay? Hello, give me my total and have a good day. We went to Golden Corral Sunday and the girl was mute. Like she didn't say nothing. So I was like, oh, my son's sin. And she was like, what? Well, I said, I assume that's what you're waiting for because you haven't asked anything. Again, that's why I don't be going outside because my attitude be bad. <laughs> I don't, don't play with me. Anyways, let me get in here so I can get home um, and do things. But that was my little rant. All right, so back from the store. So I went to Food Lion and I don't even know what this. Y'all, I'm going to run away. I'm going to run away for 
all the mamas, Prego mamas, regular mamas in general, or women that's out here working, grocery shopping, cooking, cleaning, still trying to figure out how they supposed to work out, all the things. <laughs> Give yourself a hand clap, please. Because nobody understands all the shit we do in 24 hours. I digress. I'll, after I do this, then I'll let you um, get, the, get the dishes together. Because I got to move all this shit. Because where are you going to put that at? So, just wait a minute. Okay? Alright, so. For, so, for dinner, um, we got I got some seasoned green beans. Um, I wanted some vegetable medley, but like the fresh kind, that bag was real small. Like, who's supposed to eat that? So I got the California blend. The season that up real good. I'm putting it in the freezer till and get ready to make it. Um, fruit of the week is eyeballs. Um, I got an onion. I want to add a little razzle dazzle season it to my pork chop. Food line had these on sale for a dollar. So I got Daniel these. He drink through these up in two days. He on his own. They're good. Uh, again, he drink up through these. He be drinking water for the rest of the week. Comment down below. Are you a millennial parent or are you like back in the day like you drink all this up and you drink a water type mom? Um, got some rice. I want some rice to go with this meal. Got my brown gravy. For me, because baby, listen. <laughs> Y'all remember that sugar test that I did on the other day? Failed it. Um, not terribly, but by a couple of points. It's the point of the matter. This is going to be the third time I take it. I have to retake this on Friday. Over it. Okay? Over it. Um, and then also, your girl's iron is drastically low, so I have to go get iron infusion on Sunday. Like, just, you know, life is life in. So, um, to give me a little razzle-dazzle, I got the black raspberry. This is zero everything. Zero everything. They, not, they no sugar. They no nothing in it, okay? Um, again, uh, I'm going to bake my pork chops. So I got the reduced sodium beef broth. For the other one, I got black cherry. I only got two for now because ideally I'm going to be drinking mostly water. So this is just for dinner. Right here, I don't want you to touch those. Well, make sure you wash your hands then. And then I got two packs of pork chops. Got them on sale. Uh-huh. Again, you're going to have to wash your hands. That's why I said don't touch it. And then they also had some ribs on sale for 483. I don't know when I'm gonna eat this, but um, they was on sale. I couldn't pass it up. So that's what we're having today. We're having pork chops, uh, smothered in gravy, and rice with vegetable medley. And um, yeah, and I'm cooking it. I ain't cooked in a long time as I was, I was talking y'all in the car, so I'm excited about that thing. So I'm gonna put this up. And get ready to wash up the dishes. Well, my son will wash up the dishes. And then I'm going to get put these pork chops up. And then we have to, I got my Ipsy. And I'm going to show you what I got from the hair supply store. And then on the docket for the rest of the day is to do what I didn't do yesterday. Because I was just over it and I just had a self-care day. And I did absolutely nothing. So, <clears throat> plan is check emails. Um, check on uh, Baby Shower RSVPs. Go ahead and get my other videos, start loading that up to YouTube because that's probably going to take the rest of the day and into tomorrow. Hopefully to get it posted by Thursday because it really be taking that long. Um, and then fold two baskets of clothes. That's the plan. It's 5 o'clock. I would like to be done by 8 because Love and Hip Hop comes on. So, and I need to, I haven't closed my rings yet. I probably have about another 15 minutes or so. Um, so maybe I could get in some yogurt or something. That's all I got, because I was going to go over and walk on the treadmill. It's 5 o'clock, it's not going to happen. 
which is also why I don't go in the grocery store. This is why I do grocery pickup because yeah, and I generally don't like to work out. What are you doing? Just facing the other way. Oh, like well, I ain't even got the mic on, so it doesn't even matter. Um, but um, also why I don't grocery grocery shopping day and working out and all of that doesn't really mix with me. But we got to figure out some type of schedule. Yeah. Anyways, I'm rambling. Let me get to this. Peace. So, now I'm about to show you guys what I got from the beauty supply store. I told you I needed to get some oils. So, I got a little container. I couldn't find my other container. So, I got this. I really like that this is tilted like this. It's really giving. I'm going to be able to get it to the fur, baby. Okay? Um, I got some bobby pins because you can never have too many bobby pins. Like, who knows? Who even knows how long I'll be? I'll have these, but yeah. And then I got my oils. So the focus for my oils is for itchy scalp because that's what I got going on. So I got the all of this is 100% natural. So I got the peppermint oil, which um, helps soothe the inflammation and improve skin and itchy scalp. I got castor oil, which detangles, locks in moisture, and helps improve hair growth. Um, you know, just to mix it up. I got the NIM oil. Never heard of this. But this relieves itchy scalp conditions, damage, dry hair. My hair isn't, I mean, it's colored. So, that automatically makes it damaged. And it be given dry. So, yeah. I got hemp oil, which... Um, Helps to enhance and nourish the hair, and it promotes scalp and skin health. Doesn't say itchiness, but it does talk about skin health, so I got it. I got the cocoa butter oil, which relieves dull, dry, damaged hair, um, which to add some life to back to the hair. And then I got scalp care oil, which helps soothe dry, helps to soothe dry, itchy scalp. It adds shine and moisturize, and it's cool and a refreshing um, formula. So I'll put all those in there and mix it up. And the only reason why I had stopped doing this is because I be feeling like I go through it fast. But I mean, my scalp ain't hitting all this uh, hair grease no more. So we gotta do what we gotta do. So I'll mix that together later on. My scalp is fine now, so I might not add any more now. I really think I probably should just wait until I wash it, which today makes a week. Um, but. The fact that I decided that I wanted to throw down in the kitchen this evening, I know for a fact. I know for a fact, and it's already 5 o'clock, your girl is not about to do that. I'm really hoping that I get some yoga in today. Um, but, uh, that's my issue. Like it's, I feel like it's the hardest when I have to work, which honestly, the pork chops are baking, so I could, but I'm like, I really am hoping that once I um get that infusion, that like it might be a little bit better because like in, in normal days, even whenever I'm feeling kind of like this, I just go ahead and push through, and I can do it. But like when I say I really don't have it in me, like I really don't have it in me, so. I might have to just be okay with the physical, the little bit that I've done, um, because it's better than nothing. No, it's not a full 30 minutes, but I did walk around. For me, not to have been like totally sedentary, I took the steps today um, down to the calf, and then um, I walked around the, the the grocery store. So I've done something. And cause, like I said, considering I've been sedentary to my body, that's going to seem like we actually did something. So anyways, got the boxy charm in. So that's what I was opening up. So I have the Iconic London Treat Your Chef Eyesh Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the packaging is looking like. Girl, you was blocking my light. And these are the colors that they're giving. I'm not going to swatch all these because there's entirely too many. 
So you can tell we're definitely getting ready to get into the falls. So, oh, love that mirror. I really need to clean my makeup brushes. Like this hair, like I am embracing the fro and the big hair. And this would have definitely ate on a whole nother level had I had beat my face to the guys. But my makeup brushes are very much dirty. And my face is already working out. So I try to keep makeup off of it when it's doing that. But also, um, my brushes are dirty and they need to be clean. Okay, getting into the next thing. I didn't choose any of these because I forgot. So we're going to be surprised together. So I got the Fair Gel Eyeliner Duo. Ooh. I might swatch that though. Oh, oh, go back. That's what it's looking like. Okay, I ain't gonna lie to any God knows when, honey. Is there three things in here? Oh, I mean, but it did, it did say duo. So give me the other one. Oh, this is in black. Oh, I know this is gonna eat. Yes. Made me wanna do a burn. Uh, I, uh, make up look right now because I know that's gonna come off creamy and it is okay. When the next time I'm gonna beat my face, I really could be proactive and clean these makeup brushes, but again, I can't ask for too much at this time. All right, next we got the classic lotion broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. Is this for the face or the whole body? It's getting whole body. Oh. And girl, we ain't been out to the pool and God knows when either. Ooh, I like the smell of that. It's definitely, I hope it doesn't give a white cast. But, okay. Definitely smelling really vacation-y. Next we have the Fume. And this is the Ideal Intense Eye Cream. I'm I'm always surprised. I don't act like I don't know why I act like that, but I really didn't choose any of these, so I have no idea what any of this is. This is what the packaging is looking like. I be smelling everything. Like, why I do that? Why I do that, y'all? Why I do that? And then lastly, we have ooh a nourishing face cleansing oil. So this is sunflower seed oil, argan oil, and jojoba seed oil. So, not suitable for babies, kids, and sensitive adults. Sound like me. This is what the packaging is looking like. And um, you apply it onto the dry face and gently massage into the skin and melt away makeup, sunscreen, and the impurities. So, this is definitely going to be used as a makeup remover. Sure will. Okay, I ain't mad at it. I'm sure my Ipsy is probably in the mailbox and... Um, that's that because I haven't been to the mailbox. Because why? Um, yeah, so that's all I got. Uh, we we may or may not speak again. I may show y'all me making this oil. I may not. Um, not gonna make any promises. Um, I may show you guys what dinner end up look, look looking like. I also may not. Just don't want to set any unrealistic expectations for what the rest of the night holds. <laughs> Because y'all know it's best that way. That way you guys don't have trust issues with me. Because I would. I'd be saying I'm going to come back. And I don't come back for two days. So let's just keep it up in the air. And if I come back. And if I don't. Remember I didn't make any promises. <laughs>